Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 21. Thoughts? This episode is called The Return. Spoilers for anything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. And, yeah, another episode I love. Let's dive right in. Um, yeah. Really, really cool when Anton Ivanov fights May and, and Coulson, and the thing with, you know, you have no shield to hide behind, and then the the shield thing slices off the face. So cool. And, yeah, we see, you know, there's a bunch more of the, yeah, Anton Ivanovs. I was also great with the, you know, I'm tired of talking to myself. <laughs> I like Coulson bringing May up to date. And, yeah, you know, she says, well, you know, we really should open that bottle. And he's like, we, we should. You know, he can't quite bring himself to, to say it. Love the thing where they have to connect the, the two cables. And they manage to, just in the nick of time, just before the, you know, yeah. Just in time to stop the, the person trying to fly directly into... And I love this thing of, so, so, Ophelia teleports them away, to, you know, yeah, Leopold and her to this beach, and she's standing there like, wow, the, the sand between my toes, the, you know, the, the waves rushing over my feet, the immense existential dread of the love of my life, you know, just love that, that, because, because for her, this really is, you know, keep in mind, they've both, you know, it's not like, oh, you know, Ophelia has no idea what happened in the, in the framework, no, both of them were there for all that time, both of them did these awful things, and because she hasn't quite developed empathy yet, all she can think about is how great things feel for her right now. And he, being driven by empathy, you know, all he can think about is how horrible the things they've both done are. You know, really fantastic. And, and I, oh my god, Mallory Jansen acting in, in these episodes, just fantastic. Like, this is not the first time that we've, you know, we've seen... Ada smile, we've seen Agnes smile, we've even seen Ophelia smile in the framework, but this is the first time that it's a true, genuine, like, at one point she says, you know, I feel joy, you know, and I like, you know, May's like, maybe this will help me take on some Terminators, and yeah, they fight several Anton Ivanovs at the same time, and then we see Ada, Ag or Ophelia, actually develop empathy, you know, uh, spurred on by Fitz. Very nicely done, because he knows her well enough. He, he can appreciate that she intellectually can understand things, but she's yet to fully de develop and mature emotionally. You know, true feelings are still so new to her, and it is true. Empathy you know, it's not the first thing that that we learn. It's, you know, ideally, you'll want the, the you know, any kid to, to learn it very early on. But, yeah, at the very start, it's just, you know, sen you know it starts with sensory input and, you know, there's there's personal desires and such, and then empathy. I like the Modoc reference, you know, the, you know, this life model decoy is designed only for killing, which I guess makes it Modoc. Yes, I, that movie is not as bad as people say it is. And, let's see, yeah, um, Yo-Yo does not want to leave without Mac. And Fitz got Ophelia to feel ya so much that she saved Mac, even though, 
you know, she doesn't have any personal, you know, she's, yeah, she's doing it out of empathy. It's, you know, if it was Fitz who was being submerged underwater, you know, obviously she would save him, but yeah, quite, quite nicely done. And let's see. Then we have the, yeah, and, and, you know, Gemma actually tranks Ice's fits, you know, and um, one of the others, uh, maybe Piper, of, uh, tr it, Ice's Ophelia, you know, because, cause, yeah, at this point, you know, there's that thing, there's that brief exchange between Daisy and Yo-Yo where, you know, yeah, you know, is Simmons scared that she, what was it, scared that he still loves, you know, Ophelia, or is she afraid that he's still the same person outside of the framework that he was inside? And I really quite appreciate, this is where a, a lesser, you know, a, a badly written thing would have fits, like spend forever trying to get away from from admitting but no he just immediately says you know Gemma saw me shoot Agnes in cold blood you know it was an execution it was not self-defense as Alistair you know offered up it was an execution Gemma saw that with her own eyes and and fits yeah and and really heartbreaking as Simmons is is watching this and and reacting, normally I really don't like when someone is watching and listening to someone else without their consent, whether it's fiction or real life. But I 100% appreciate, you know, like Gemma does actually have to see how does Fitz talk when, you know. Yeah, when he's alone with Ophelia, is he still... Because she heard some of what he said back in the framework. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and Ophelia just... I've... I already mentioned Mallory Jensen's acting. This, you know... Script, you know, check that on off the, the... Check, whatever, bingo card, but... The I really appreciate how complex the writing for Ophelia is. Like, it would be so easy to just... There's so many stories out there where, you know, scientists create something they can't control and the thing just, you know, it's just evil. What do you want? You know, do you really need a reason? And here, like, no, it's... Okay, so, obviously misogynistic trope, this thing of, you know, hell hath no fury... But this really is, like, she did all those evil things so that she could be with him, you know, and, yeah, just, like, she buried Gemma Simmons so that Fitz would not be with her, be with Simmons, and just, yeah, um... Yeah, really, really, the, you know, she tries to, to teleport out, and then she spots the two things that are preventing the teleportation, and not long after, she's using the, the like, electricity powers or something, you know, some, something like that. Really, really epic, like, the camera going all the way around her, like, I think, actually, several times. Poor cameraman must be so dizzy. And then Glenn Talbot shows up, and he makes really compelling arguments for not trusting them. You know, it's like, you know that I just, you know, Mace is dead. We found, you know, scorched robots. This place was blown up. You know, and, and now you're telling me, oh, it was the Matrix. You know, just, you know. And, 
yeah, really appreciate how for the rest of the episode, Leo is, he's, he's like the hype man for Ophelia, like, oh, no, those were not their only powers, I'm sorry, he's already dead, you know, just, yeah, and I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I think we've seen an Inhuman on the show that can take that many bullets and just shrug them off. But then, you know, we've seen, yeah, some of them do have, you know, completely ridiculous powers. So, yeah. And, yeah, at the very, very end, you know, Anton Ivanov, you know... <laughs> Yeah, typical straight man. I'd like to think I myself would not do it, but I... Yeah, he's like, you know, I I can in introduce you to a new sensation, and, you know, yeah, at first it looks like, you know, aggressive sex, but sex, but no, she's killing, you know, Anton Ivanov, which... <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like a substantial chunk of the people watching male female everything in between you know they were watching like oh, it's finally happening and then once you know she's like slamming his head into like at least two-thirds of them were like okay this is not what I want it and those last ones were like yes slam it harder mommy and yeah we see Ghost Rider make a reappearance so yeah just one episode left holy crap um really looking forward to that gonna be gonna do that tomorrow right so the let's see yeah uh, MDB trivia someone pointed out the yeah the Modoc reference and someone pointed out you know now we're back to agents of shield title card instead of the agents of Hydra and let's see yeah in the um in the memorable quote section for this episode there's um let's see yeah several of the yeah, two of, two of the long exchanges between Ophelia and Fitz. You know, her standing on the shore and them talking in the, um, the, the box thing, you know, leading up to when, you know, yeah, when she says, you're a romantic, there's only room in your heart for, and then he says, her. And, yeah, I quite like the, the, yeah, Talbot explaining this, you know, everything he found, and then saying, can you explain it? And Coulson goes, I can try. I do not think he got it in 50 words or less, though. But I'm pretty sure that was just a joke. Robots? Is that a common occurrence now? Like I said, you've missed a fair amount. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Well, you've missed a fair amount, mate, but the quick version is you can go ahead and shoot him. Thank you. Why are characters in these kind of situations always like, well, no, just don't, ex don't explain. Just say, you know, good guy or bad guy, if it's that simple, at least. Let's see. And... We call him the Russian because, you know, he's Russian. And... Let's see. Oh, right, the... the um, let's see... Oh, yeah, never mind. Already went over that. Um... How did things end with Robbie Reyes? Last I remember, we were chasing down his uncle. Oh, you know, guy tried to become a god, so we opened up a portal beneath his quantum power cube, then Ghost Rider dragged him to another dimension with his hellfire chain. So things ended well, then. Well, as can be expected. 
Why don't we chop off her head like last time? You need a volunteer? Let's take a moment to think about that, Sweeney Todd.